Hi everyone, this is Carol from Owl's Nest Quilters and we are here at the shop uh, during our Harvest Table Kimberbell event and I am doing this video to demonstrate how to take an embroidery file and create an SVG file. Sometimes Kimberbell will do that and other times they won't and in this case they did not give us SVG files so we have to create our own. And it's a good idea for this one because there are some uh, appliques that are very intricately cut and uh, with the leaves and so on, which makes it very difficult to cut at, in tr the traditional applique. So the USB um, stick is in the machine and I'm going to go into embroidery and the pocket is where everything uh, is, is saved in memory. And I'm going to go to the icon for the USB. Then, um, in this case, Kimberbell did give us uh, the embroidery files for today's event, but they also gave us some separate embroidery files, which to me looked like they were a little bit more separated out. So I'm going to go into those, and I'm going to pick the maple leaf, and hit set. So I'm going to go ahead and hit embroidery. And the plus and minus is where I can advance in the design and the down arrow advances forward. So that's gonna be my placement stitch. I'm gonna go one more. So that's gonna be my stitch out stitch. Um, and that's the one that I want. So that was actually stitch three or step three. And that's the information that I needed. So I'm gonna go okay. And then I'm gonna hit my step three. Now, hold on. Nope, I need to return first. Now I hit my step three, and that's the step that I want. And I want to create a cut file of that step. So I need to be in the embroidery area of the thread. Um, you, when you turn, go into this uh, screen, you may have country, Robus and Anton, Madeira, whatever. Um, just advance until you get to the embroidery. And once you get the embroidery, go all the way down, and here's a little icon of a scissor. And so what that is doing, when you press that, is it says that it's creating an applique. So you know you did that right. And I always change the color to something else, so I know that I, what I've got. And I'm going to change it to the magenta and hit OK. Now I need to save this. So I'm going to go into Memory and save it to my USB and it's saved. That's all I can do in my embroidery machine. And now I'm going to go uh, over to the scan and cut. So follow me over there. I have my USB stick in my machine and I'm gonna to go to retrieve data and the USB. Brother creates what's called a B pocket and that's where I will find my file. So I'm gonna to go to the B pocket and I'm gonna, the last thing that you saved is the what's on the uh, upper left-hand corner. And I'm going to hit the flower on this one. So if you're creating an applique, you want to hit the flower and set it okay. Then it gives me three options, and I want the stitch out option. So that's the one on the far right. I'm going to hit that and hit okay. And before I set it any further, I want to ungroup it. So this is telling me that it's grouped and I want to hit that middle button and ungroup it and now set it. And now when I press on it, all the different elements are showing up, which is what I want. So hit somewhere on the screen to deactivate them all. And what I want is my my maple leaf, which is right there. I'm going to put him way down here, click off of him. I'm going to go to edit and the three uh, red squares, get my cropping tool, put all of that in there, hit OK. Oops, why did it do that? For some reason it had um, highlighted my, my leaf and that I didn't want that. Um, so now I'm going to hit OK and trash all of that and OK. 
and I'm left with my little maple leaf. And that's what I'm gonna to use to um, cut out the glitter on the Scanna Cut. Uh, one of the things that we do at this point need to uh, be aware of is that when we pulled this off of the embroidery machine, it was in the, the stitch out, which means that your leaf is going to be exactly the same size as your stitch out, which means it won't get caught in your stitching. So we do need to increase our leaf by two clicks. One, two, and hit okay and okay, and okay, and I'm gonna save that. And it's saved to my machine. Now I can go home. It's okay to delete those. I'm gonna retrieve my data, this time from my machine. The last thing is down here. So I've got my little maple leaf and I'm ready to cut him out now. Um, I also have my, um, I can add, and I did do one earlier. I did my uh, other leaf, but I did not increase him. So I am gonna go ahead with the size, increase by two clicks and okay. So now I've got my two leaves that I can cut out, part of my glitter. So hopefully this will help you to create a cut file from your embroidery files when they're not provided by the designer. So these are the two <laughs> appliques that I created, one for the gold leaf and one for the red leaf. And you can see um, that they're really pretty intricately cut out there. I have my standard mat loaded and I'm not very sticky up here, so I decided to put everything down on the bottom. So it doesn't matter where you um, where you put things because you scan your mat in. So I need to scan my mat, which is this scanning button. No. But I first need to load it. And now we'll start. So now I can move my leaf down to the gold and my leaf down to the red. And as you can see, you can't really see it very well. If you hit the wrench and look at the background, I can hit the um, lighter button and hit OK. And that kind of grays out the area. So now I can see on my map where I am. I can make sure that I not next to the sides. Once I have everything placed where I want it, I hit OK. Please select, and I want to cut it. And I, this is um, heat vinyl transfer. And with the way that Kimberbell does it, we don't have a, a carrier sheet. We actually take the carrier sheet off. So I don't need to set it at half cut, which we normally do when we're doing with, dealing with vinyl. So I'm good to go. I'm just gonna hit start and it's gonna do its magic with testing out the, how much pressure it needs to apply. I do have my vinyl blade in. Okay, so we're all done cutting. And with any luck, we have a leaf. Ah, oh, look at that. And we have a leaf. So um, there's no way that my arthritic hands <laughs> could possibly cut something out as intricate as that and, and have it look halfway decent. So these are ready to go on, on to someone's project. That's how you take an embroidery file and convert it to an SVG file and cut it out with your scan and cut.